Hello, everybody. This is uh, Siren Sound Gaming returning on our 100 Days to the Far Territory playlist, backed by popular demand, I should add. Um, so, just to catch everybody up who's been either back and forth between the two um, video sets, um, so we started that Frontier Comforts list just so we can go ahead and see what we could find in terms of cooking, but honestly, we're level 5 cooking on this character, so it does make more sense for us to practice the cooking on the level 5 character. So what we're going to do is we are going to alter the challenge a little bit. Um, what we had established before was that we couldn't exit the airfield until day 112. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that if we don't get out of here as soon as possible, we are going to lose um, a good uh, amount of stuff that we could be collecting, like the, the new food items. So what I would like to do is go ahead and get out of the airfield. We'll grab the recipe at the um, at the hangar before we go. But then I think we should go find the recipes and then um, get started. I haven't looted anything in this building yet, so everything you're seeing is since our last playthrough what's been added. So if you're watching this back to back, I apologize if it's a little bit uh, disconjointed. It's been a minute since we played this one. Um, so here's what I found so far when I peek at the inventory. We are overweight by a good amount, and we're going to be picking stuff up along the way. Um, so here's what we're going to do in terms of inventory management. I do want to leave a lot of this stuff here. We are going to come back. I just want to play with the new mechanics first. So I see we have some stuff that we'd set aside for future. We're going to keep it here. Um, we're going to diss the... Signa Void stuff for right this second. We'll come back to it. Um, I see some salt on the counter. We're going to take that in case we can make some broth. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, hope everybody's having a good day so far. Um, I know it was kind of an impromptu stream. We actually got let out of work early. Um, we got an email from the vice president of my company and they were like, Hey, happy... Uh, oh, let's see, this is what I'm worried about. These potatoes are ruined. Um, Anyway, we're going to leave them here. It should be fine once we cook them, though. Um, but the the vice president of my company was like, go home at 3 o'clock today, you know, happy happy 4th of July. Whatever, so. Um, we got to go home early. So, and I was like, well, heck, I could uh, do a live stream. Since I didn't get to do one this weekend. Um, I haven't been totally doing nothing in terms of getting ready for a stream. I have a secret project, well not really secret, but I have a project I've been working on that's going to be more of a... This is really weird, I can only put things on these spoons. I can't put them on the counter. It's glitchy. Okay. Um, so it's going to be something that will be helpful for you guys long term. But it is kind of time consuming to set up, so just bear with me there. We're going to leave this uh, flashlight here. I don't use it. The only time we'll use it is for the signal void missions, so it doesn't make sense for me to hang on to it. Um, more acorns? Didn't I drop a bunch of acorns? Um, but yeah, so bear with me while I ramble for a few minutes and get the stuff squared away. I'm just trying to make it so we can uh, leave. Because it's almost night time, so we can't leave now, but... Do some inventory management, which I usually do off camera, but... I was really excited to get back with you guys, and I actually started the stream a minute early, so that I could get here. So. Missed you guys. Um, but that's when what's been going on with me. It hasn't been me neglecting or forgetting about you guys, I promise. It's just been busy here. I think for weight's sake, we might... I might leave the bow here and the arrows because we're going to come back. So we'll drop that stuff here. I don't think we need all of those weapons. We don't need to be armed to the teeth to go exploring for food. Um, this uh, quality tools can stay here. Sure. Um, Alright, that's how physics works. And let's see. We can 
gonna leave some of this cloth here too. We don't need to bring two pounds of cloth with us. Take two. Get rid of that. And we'll keep the leather. I'm also gonna be stashing this drawer. Um, I don't think we'll be fishing anytime soon. Get rid of those. Um, I don't even know where my rifle is. It's here somewhere. I know we had one. I had Vaughn's rifle, but I don't know what I did with it. Probably put it down somewhere. Is it outside? Yeah, it's glimmer fog out here. I can hear it. Hmm. I don't know where my rifle is. Wasn't in my inventory, was it? No. Hmm. I set it down somewhere. Clearly. I'll have to go back and figure out where I left it. Anyway. That means we don't need to take the... Get rid of those matches. We don't need two fire strikers. that can. I don't think we need 125 matches. Let's transfer those. Just that little bit we're underweight now. Like quite a bit. Okay. Alright, so let's try to sleep. Um, it's going to be rough to sleep tonight no matter what, but let's give it the old college try. Somewhere. Anyway. First case, I'll have to go back and look at the previous video and see what happened. Um, good thing we don't need to cure condition because we're going to get woken up probably a lot here. So Apparently they augmented um, the insomnia, so it does actually make it more difficult to sleep. I think we slept through that four hour span with no issue. Um, I heard in another stream that somebody was saying that they made it so you do actually wake up more frequently, but we'll see. Sleep in short segments just in case. We don't need to recover conditions, so if we do get woken up, it's more just of an inconvenience anyway. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been woken up yet. And we have insomnia. We don't have an insomnia risk, I'm pretty sure. Daytime yet. Um, what can we do? You know what? I might have left the rifle at the airfield. I wonder if we left it in the hangar when we were moving stuff around. That would be my best bet. I had to take a guess. Do we need four pounds of cattails? I don't think we do. I think we're gonna leave about half of these here too. Sure. That's good. Unlucky 13. I'll go with it. Um, we're gonna take the peaches with us because there are a couple recipes that use the peaches. Same with the syrup. Um, we can eat the crackers. Oh. We can eat the crackers. I mean, we could just, we can basically down anything and eat it anyway. Um, do I have any water stored? I probably don't, because I'm not that prepared here yet. So let's make a fire real quick. We'll brew a little bit of water. Um, I don't want to make a fire with a torch. What do I have here? Uh, something called coal. That's something I could start a fire with, game. Makes me mad. It's like, oh yeah, um, you need um, light to break this thing. 
It's like I can see enough. Can't I just pick it up and, and wing it? That's why I have to take this book. I think like two books should be okay. Silly game. You look bad. Look at you. Trying to get out of here so we can do something exciting. I apologize, guys. But we have to make sure we are adequately prepared or the airfield will spit us back out. Make us dead. I don't know about you, I don't really want to be made dead. So. Okay, that's a good amount of water. Let's make a couple birch bark because we are going to be outside for a bit. And having birch bark will be good. So we have a few of those now. We have some water. Um, just feels like so much in my damn inventory. Drop the coffee. We have a cup. Yeah. I tend not to rely on coffee too much anyway. And we have a go drink. Yeah. And two stems. We should be good. Alright, let's see what it looks like outside. Ew! Okay. Um, I guess we will throw some more stuff out of our inventory then. Um, I'm gonna leave the charcoal here because we're really only using it here to map. I don't have anything else I can drop. Let's break this up. At least 30 minutes. See, maybe if that's enough, I can drop this here. Ugh, it's even worse somehow. Um, this can get put there. cool someone pointed out to me one of the viewers said that you can actually see out the windows now to see what the weather is in these cabins and it um nope it still looks like crap out here okay all right i don't really want to travel in this because i'm still not super confident where i'm going but maybe we'll go outside and hack some stuff up Trying to be productive with my time. Um, so we have to go down on the ice to get out of here. Oh, look, a hammer! Can I, can I have it? Nice. I didn't see that there before. So now we can leave this hammer here. Pretty cool. So now we can use the hammer to break up acorns. Um, maybe we'll, we'll knock these up now. So we have some ground acorns in our pocket. How do I do that? I have to do it from this menu. Right? Food? Which one's the food one? Um, oh, it's just in its own thing. Okay. Oh, there's we cooked. Oh, okay, then we're not going to do that. I know we have a hammer waiting for us um, at the airfield. So look back at the um, back at the what's the word I want? The hanger. That's the one. I really wish it would get nicer out. There we go. Just had to complain louder, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. rabbits.
Oh, cool, Kelly. Hope everything went well. I'm assuming it was just like a wellness checkup, hopefully. Still kind of foggy out. Still not really a fan. But I do remember um, with the glimmer fog, you do have to wait a little bit before it actually goes away. It's not like um, the storms where it just kicks up and leaves. It has to kind of dissipate. So hoping it'll do that while we are exploring. We're just going to recheck the fishing hut and things like that. Make sure there's nothing new and exciting there for us. Good. I'm glad. Have I been here before? Yeah, I have. Okay. I just left those cattails there, apparently. Okay. I'll leave them there still. Probably had a good idea at the time. Need to stop running. everybody has fun holiday plans if you're in the U.S. If you're not, then um, good luck at work this week, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, like I have friends in Canada that, that work with us, and she was like, why are we off tomorrow? I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. You don't live here. Um, Independence Day. So, Which I guess it corresponds pretty well with their Canada Day was yesterday or the day before. Their Independence Day of some sort, so... Um, if anybody's Canadian here, definitely feel free to chime in and educate me, but, uh, yeah, so, I try, so, I think we're just gonna follow this lake down and just kinda cut across, I think? I remember correctly otherwise we might take a, uh, a wrong turn but it looks like if we just follow this out for a little while we should get somewhere oh there's the bear so we're not going to go that way over here. It's like a shelter. Oh, it's just a really square rock. Okay. I just have this thing. So, like, my my uncle always used to tell us, like, if you're in nature and something looks really straight, it's probably something man-made. So, like, in my mind, even though this is a game and things tend to be kind of straight, um, things like that, the really, really square rocks like that, they mess me up and make me think it's a house or something. Go away, away. Just so I could actually see these little oh, wolves making noises. bunnies. I like bunnies. I think that's the bear cave. No, it's not. What is this cave? Oh, I haven't been here yet. Okay. What do we got? Scarf? Flare. A hatchet. That's cool. I don't want it right now, though. That's cool. Is this the one you can climb? No. So, so there is a cave that you can, like, climb up, and there's, like, a walkway to get up through it. 
It's more of a tunnel than a cave, I guess. I'm gonna grab these rose hips because you can actually cook with rose hips now besides just the pain relief teas. There's a couple of recipes that use them for sweetness. Ironically, everything in this game that's sweet gives you a headache though. So there's a few handheld pastries that'll actually give you a headache. I think all headaches do is make you a little bit blurry on the screen. Um, and they pass, I think it's usually within an hour, but... I don't know if there's any other negative default, de debuffs excuse me, that are associated with them. I'd have to look that up. It didn't matter too much before because I just would make sure that when I took an energy drink I had a goal in mind that would get me somewhere that it didn't matter if I had a headache afterwards. So. I'm not sure what it actually does. I'm gonna stay close to this lake. I was hoping to see if there was a walkway or something up here, but there's not. I don't really like, not that I don't like the airfield, I haven't been here enough to, to really explore it. So, it makes me a little bit nervous sometimes, especially when I can't see. I hear lots of wolves. Makes me a little uneasy. Oh wait, is that the helicopter? No, what is that? at the end of the lake. Let's cut back. There's a river we can follow to get back to the control tower. This reminds me of like a desert sometimes where it's like if you walk off the path for a little bit too long you almost get whitewashed out here. They did really well on this map. Looks at the control tower there. Their horizon there, perhaps. Yeah, okay, there's some buildings in front of us. Cool. Alright, folks, so it is rumored that there is a recipe inside of the hangar building. This might have been a cache that we found. Yeah. Yep. This is one of the caches. Supply cache we found with the hand radio. We are going to run through these buildings again just to see if there's any odds and ends in them, especially with the new food update. effectively have to re-loot a lot of these buildings to see what's what because they like in that in that building that we were in the, the cabin whoop, there's some wolves they did kind of sneakily stick a um, couple potatoes in a basket which I wouldn't have expected there to be stuff in so we're gonna take our time and loot through Especially the hangar, because there was one of the rooms in the hangar had a good amount of food in it, so hoping there'll be some stuff there. I'm gonna have to shoot these wolves. Unless I can get down in this trench. Might be able to avoid aggro. Yeah, okay. Cool.
quarter in me is having a hard time leaving this cat house. Like a very hard time. Oh well. I just want them there in case I get stuck in a blizzard and have no food. Which the logical side of my brain understands, but the hoarding side is like, but you might need it now. So. This is why I'm bad at RPGs, because I sit there and I walk around at like half a mile an hour, shuffle along, because I'm too heavy. If you've never been super over encumbered in this game, do it once and walk through the snow and watch how close together your footprints are. It looks like you're literally sitting there like walking through the snow. Like it looks like you're literally just kicking snow in front of you. It's how close your your uh, footprints are together. I did it. Oh, there's a cabin over there. No. So we were looting everything, so... If I have to shoot a wolf, I will. Is that an actual cabin? Yeah, it's a trailer. Okay. Really excited for this update, too. Um, along with the changes in adding cooking, they did do some changes to fishing as well. So there's new lures that we can play with. There's the tip-ups. Um, and a few other goodies that we can run around and play with. Um, soon. Um, we probably won't play with those right away, but we have the option. Am I not in here? Did I miss this trailer last time? No, oh, I guess I did. Alright. Good thing we're relooting everything. Maybe I was too heavy. I'm not sure. This is the only problem with going back on an old play is I don't know what was going through my dumb mind at the time. But, there's another revolver. Does it have any bullets in it? Does it have anything in it? No. Okay. That's cool, but we don't need to. It's a regular book. Somebody was well prepared. No food that we want in here, though. Hey, bird. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we don't want any of that. We don't need the cloth. We don't need the extra weight. Take those though. There's plenty of cloth so far on this map, so. And a lot of our clothing is actually pelt anyway, so we won't need as much. Do I see buildings up the, this way? Or is it just a burnt down one? Uh, I think that's just a burnt down one. That's a later me problem. Cabin school to get all the pallets. Um, I don't know if we need to reloot the planes. I'm gonna say probably not gonna have any food on the planes, but pop our head in there and see. Figure we'll stream until my wife gets home from work. We actually got let out at three o'clock, so. Um, I was able to get home a lot earlier than normal, um, you know, before she got home, so. She was mad. Yeah, I don't think it's worth going on these planes. Um, she was not mad mad, but she was like, how come you got to leave early? But. Oh, it was good. Did we repair this transmitter? We probably did. Let me just check. We would have had to. We got that cash. Never mind. That's silly. Lots of bunnies spawning. Um, where's the door for this place? There it is. Anything in here? Nope. 
let's see what we can find in here. Um, okay. Micro lava? No. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Not even some salt. Nobody has salt to put on their food. No. There's a kitchen upstairs. I'm excited to look through all the houses once we get back into Lower Great Bear. There's a lot of the kitchens that I've looted. This is a really... Oh, that's right. This is the signal tower. This is just the tower up here. Shit. I need to drink some water anyway. Take a nap. Okay. okay. Let's um, go to the next building. I'm a bit tired from all the running we were doing. It's quite irresponsible, but that's okay. We're gonna sleep here tonight anyway before we go. By the time we loot through everything, I'm sure it'll be dark. It's the terminal. Cases are empty, nothing up there, nothing there. Can you imagine having an airport so small that you only need one area to drop luggage? I wish. When we went on our honeymoon, we had to go through Philadelphia and Orlando airports, and both of them were big enough that you'd get lost in. Like, it was awful. Um, we were due for a shuttle to go to the Disney parks from Orlando, and luckily, there weren't that many pe other people waiting, and they waited for us, but we were like the last people on the bus before the guy pulled away. But we I had a hell of a time finding the terminal, and I had to actually call their help number to be like, hey, I don't know where I'm going, because Orlando's freaking huge. Like, it's like a conveyor belt to get from where the planes come in to where you pick up your luggage. Like, it's like a legit, like, you go on this people mover thing. Like a shuttle, I guess is the better word to go through all of it and like I'm used to Philly airport like I'm, I'm used to busier areas it's not like I live in the boonies or anything but I was pretty overwhelmed and I think it's because it was maybe the because it was the first time I'd really been to the airport not having a more grown-up person with me that knew what they were doing so it was just my wife and I my wife hates flying um she's terrified of flying she hates it when we took off my hand was purple she was squeezing it so hard um she felt really bad, but it was, I mean, it was okay. She was, it's not like she was doing it to be mean. She just was nervous, but, so between the two of us, we're pretty useless walking around the airport, and the signage there isn't always the best, so it was a lot of, like, walking and hoping we found what we needed and getting distracted with all of the signs, so. We got there, obviously, but we made our flight on time, and then to make it better on the way home, they changed the terminal that we were flying out of between the time that we got there at like, we got there two or three hours early the way you're supposed to. So between the time that we got there and the time our plane was supposed to take off, they changed the terminal on us. So when they weren't boarding our plane when they said we were supposed to, I'm sitting there and I looked at my wife and I'm like, this is really weird, they should be boarding us by now. So I happened to like, after a minute or two, I like pulled out my phone and looked at it and they had switched us to like, it was like a five minute walk from where we were sitting. We got there just in time and didn't miss our flight, thankfully, but we never got our notification that they switched it. Like, I had checked in on my phone already, we did all the things I was supposed to do and was never notified that they changed the gate. So, now I know in case we ever fly again, I mean, we'll fly again, I'm sure, but, you know, when we fly again, at least I know to look for those things. But, it's just like things they don't, ooh, there's a skillet, nice, we need that. Some of the recipes are made in the skillet. Um, but it was like a really, really harsh learning curve there. Because unless you ask, no one, you know, 
You have to know what to ask sometimes, too, where they look at you like you have six heads. But we made it. There and back. My hand's not broken. It's all good. We had a good flight both ways. Orlando's only about an hour and a half, two hour flight from uh, Philly, so. Not bad at all. So. All in all, not bad. There's this damn recipe. It was in. I didn't think I saw it in that kitchen over there, but I might have to go back and look again. It was like pinned to the wall or something when I've seen it on other people's playlists. Um, the problem is the recipe cards are so little too. Teddy bear. I'm hoping with the frontier or the when they do the base customization, you can pick up the little things like teddy bears and carry them with you. Maybe they'll decrease like they could like decrease your cabin fever risk by a short amount or whatever. Something fun like that. Just cause like I'd like to have that little guy perched up in the corner of my house with me. It doesn't matter if he doesn't do anything. I'm okay with that. It's clearly there, there's some tinder plugs. That's a stairwell. Hmm. I have to go investigate that kitchen again. It's ball cap, nothing. Alright, we will see if there's anything downstairs maybe. Oh wait, what's this? I'm gonna... The bed... The, the bedroll is glitched again where it doesn't appear on the... Wheel. It's annoying. I panicked for a second because I thought I forgot my bedroll, but I have a bare bedroll. And I remember once upon a time that wasn't appearing on the wheel, so I'm assuming that's just what's happening now. This one here is supposed to be a porridge that is a lot of calories, which is great because the porridge already has a lot of calories in it. So I'm really excited that we're here. We can find this recipe first. If we can find it, that is. I'm gonna have to go back upstairs and investigate that kitchen. Hoping not to have to, but I don't have to. I'm not seeing this tiny little recipe card in any of these other places. And then I'm worried because somebody else on the stream I was watching said that they couldn't find it anywhere and they looked all over the place. So I'm a little bit nervous. I don't think it would spawn in the basement, but we can check the basement as well. I just want to take a closer look at this kitchen. Just to make sure I'm not just man looking. I say man looking in an endearing way. I have to remember that. Aha! See, I did. I did. I just totally missed it. Alright, so it was in this kitchen. I walked all around here, and it's really hard to see because if you're not paying attention, it's really far back here. 
So, back to what I was saying. I use man looking as a term of endearment because that's what my wife, my wife says that I do when I look for things haphazardly, so. It's all in jest. So this camber flight porridge is a porridge that's f fortified, not fulfilled, with fruits and syrup, a pilot's favorite after a long flight. So, to make it, we need maple syrup, rose hips, pinnacle peaches, water, so we just need to find some oats and we can make this. We have everything else. It gives us a headache though. But it does increase our max condition probably for three hours. And it's 25, or not 25, 1250 on calories, which you can't complain about. So, if we open our eyes and actually look, <laughs> I found it. So. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Time to get on the basement. Which I think is on this side. With the wedding and stuff, I didn't have a whole lot of time to play this game, so I feel like I don't know this map at all. I mean, there's a few maps like this, so I don't feel bad about it, per se, but... It's something I wish I knew. Well, let's refill this. Since we found lantern fuel. Cool. Oh, I guess we turn it on, huh? I still would like to come down here and see if the rifle's down here. So we have all these goodies. Matches. Oops, see here, some potatoes. Cool. Two potatoes from that. Were they almost ruined? Is that why we didn't get too many? No, okay. In the past, when I found those potato sacks, I've been getting anywhere between, like, four and seven. Yeah, there's our rifle. Okay. We left it here. We're gonna take it with us, just in case. There's our hammer. Lots of stuff here. Acorns here. Let's crush these acorns, actually. Let's make a fire and we'll crush those acorns. Um... Use that accelerant. Okay, we're just gonna cook on this anyway. Okay. Because um. you have to cook the acorns before you can smash them. As silly as that sounds. But I guess they akin that to, like, with real acorns, you have to, I think you have to let them, like, soak in water and get the tannins out of them. So. I think they try to mimic that. Let's just put off more. Um, I wish that put more light off. If there was a way to open it, even if it was less efficient to have more light. It uses so much water. What are we doing on time? Cool. Now we need to make more water because we just used like most of our water, I'm sure. So we'll make a pot of water real quick while we let's eat the bad food we got. So we'll eat these energy bars. I'd like to save the potatoes because some of the stews I think need them. Having candy for dinner, I'm not wanting to prove.
while we're waiting for that, let's grind up our acorns. Acorns down here that we can process. They're not actually, I don't think they're that heavy. Are they heavy when they're processed? Where does it put them? Yeah, they're a little heavy. Okay. Um, or did I cook? I might have cooked all of them before. down here? Is it picking up? No. This was stuff we had. This stuff can stay here. I can take those peaches though because we do use them in a few recipes. Take the herbal tea, take the birch bark tea since we're leaving. God, we've got stimulants everywhere. Sometimes I think we're crack at it. Out here all twitchy in the airfield. acorns that I didn't cook yet. Probably didn't have enough water. Okay. Um. I found that water on the wall there. We'll just take that with us when we're done cooking. God, it's like a drink for every time I want to make a thing of acorns. I don't want those. I'm not cooking these because they it takes an extra It takes an extra, um, it takes four of them, is what I'm trying to say. That should be good. We can leave that tonight. Um, We gotta get some sleep, so let's sleep and then we'll crack those acorns in the morning. Oop, it's an aurora. Okay, not quite daytime yet. Thought we would know it in the basement. Kelly, I don't know if you're here or just lurking. Um, how'd your garden go? I know you were doing some gardening this weekend, you said. I mean lurking in the endearing way as well. <laughs> the, you know, you're dealing with twin babies type of lurking. That should be enough water to get us out of here. I'll take one more for good measure. Um, let's eat this peanut butter. I think that's soda. Cool. We're gonna take that with us just to be sure. No. Alright, so where are we at for weight? Just under. Don't need this. This can stay here, we can always pick up sticks. Or 
we're wearing everything we have. Clothing. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I have to look. I know you said you posted in Discord um, how to do the, the, the block race beds, but I definitely want to look and see how you would do that. I don't see anything else down here. Yell out if I forgot something, but I don't think I did. Let's get out of here. Time to go back up to Great Bear. Lower Great Bear. Cool. Um, so the dogs are going to start, of course. Yeah. So I apologize for any vocalizations you might hear in a minute. Because my little one wants, likes to cry when my wife gets home. Okay, so from here, we need to head... Go from the main hangar. Looks like there's a path we can follow to get out. Oh yeah, there's the road. Let's stay on the road. Well, you said cement blocks, never mind. You using like the long flat ones or like more like cinder blocks? I just have to go look at the picture, but keep forgetting to do so. Okay. I did see that picture. That's cool though. Yeah, we're going to be doing some race bets, hopefully at some point. I don't know if that's a this year project or not, but just so we can grow some like small veggies. Cucumbers, peppers, stuff we eat. I think it's too late in the year for us to do it now, but maybe next year. Yeah, Faye, we'll have to go in and look at all. I'll uh, show you once we get out of here and have some more ingredients. We can play with the new cooking now. Um, you need more ingredients, but it does a whole lot more now, too. So, it's a good time. We need to go this way, if I remember right. Are cement bricks, are they expensive? Like, I know, like, my dad has a ton of them because he's a contractor, but I never actually looked at the price on them. I've seen the ones that are, like, they're more compressed. Like, they're flatter versions of the cinder block, where it's only, like, half of the block. Does that make sense? So you use this, like, an edge, but if you were going to go up with it, I would think, yeah, you need to go higher. 
I have no idea. Um, future DLCs. I'm looking forward to the trader. I want to know what kind of stuff he has and what we can trade for. Like, if he'll trade for furs for stuff. Um, but that's not bad for the price on those bricks. Um, definitely the the cabin upgrades we'll be able to do. We can add more customization to your your houses and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see if we can build stuff, if it's like a build system or if it's just, um, and I don't quite know what they're going to do there. I'm kind of excited to see what they do, especially paired with what they've done with fishing and um, cooking. I'm interested to see what they do. And then the Travoy, because I'm a hoarder. Yes, it's a very long walk. <laughs> but we need to get out of here so we can go explore some other stuff. So Get warmed up in here. Oh, we have stuff in here. Oh, okay. Well. Like, if I need to kill stuff for me and I can't use the pelts, it makes me feel some sort of way about it. Um, I wish there was, like, decorative stuff we can do with, like, the pelts and stuff. I'm hoping that's something they come out with with the new, um, with that new system. I'm going to take a nap here real quick, I think, because I keep running. Maybe two hours here. Well, I'd even be okay if you can trade for, like, um, food and, like, some of the foods for the cooking. Like, I'm wondering if he'll be able to sell some of the dry goods you need. That's why I leave stuff everywhere, because I always find it, especially if it's along a main path like that. I probably said in a previous video, I'm going to leave this here because I know myself and I know I'll be tired once I get to that stage. That's probably exactly what I did. Because I was probably tired getting there. Like, this is stuff that I do. Like, oh, I don't feel like carrying this anymore. Let me just drop it here. I was probably over encumbered trying to get to there. Knowing me. Random flare on the ground. It's fine. I'll leave it there. Maybe I'll, uh, have a wolf chasing me next time I come down. Yeah, I don't understand why you can't, like, take your bear like the bear pelts and just use them as blankets like even if you had to get two two pelts to double side them or something I mean you can cure guts you can do all the things you would need to be able to do that we can make fishing hooks like we have the technology um, I'm hoping that all comes on the new update I would imagine a blanket that's made out of a bear pelt would be heavy though so I understand not carrying it but I guess they figured you had the bedroll option, maybe. But I've definitely like hopped in a car and just, you know, slept for half an hour or an hour. Waited for half an hour or something like that. Just till they get off your butt. The weekend got away from us the last two weekends, so out of the blue, my wife and I were looking at our old office, and we're kind of running around and back and forth on what we should do. We, neither of us were happy with the space, and we decided, like knuckleheads, on Saturday, I think it was Saturday, might have been Sunday, 
And we were going to do all of the things. So we switched our bedroom into the smaller room. We moved our office into the bigger room. It's better for everybody. More space for the dogs. More space for us. Um, and I think that's... Oh, I was going to say, is that glitched? But so that weekend got away from us. This weekend, because we were so tired, I was like, I want to stream. I want to stream. And every time I sat down to play, I was like, I really feel like being a person right now, though. So it just got away from us, time-wise. And I was sitting here on Sunday night, and I was like, ah, oh, crap, I was supposed to stream this weekend, and I never did. So. Since I'm off tomorrow, and since we got let, let out of work early, I figured why not a little bit. I said it on another stream, I want to be able to stuff pelts too, like if I need two pelts to be able to stuff Fluffy or something and put Fluffy in my house, that would be funny. Walk home and pet Fluffy and maybe decrease my cabin fever risk or something. Especially now that we have the down feathers. You know, make it some exorbitant cost of like, you know, 20 sets of down feathers or, you know, 20 Parmigan's worth of down feathers. I guess it's like 80 down. I would do it. I'd spend the time. Step some ptarmigans, leave them around the house. Maybe some rabbits. Be like my own little Wilson. Such a cool area. So much death though. I've seen quite a few people just go out there and die. In, in streams just because it's like, you know, freezing cold. That's not cool. Yeah, let me make super ugly stuff and sell it to the trader for the trader to make snarky comments about how bad it is. But buy it for like, I don't know, two candy bars or something. Yeah, my, um, my suspicion is that they're not having issues with the cougar. My guess is that they're waiting to release the cougar until the mine update, which I'm sure is not coming until the very end of the year. Um, because that's, I think they're going to release it alongside the last map, just because of the way they've been releasing stuff. Um, and when you look at the, the mine itself, it has, that's where they put the picture of the cougar. So I'm suspicious that there's a long pass there that I think is supposed to be like this. That I'm going to guess the cougar is going to be able to stalk you along the ends and stuff like that. So. It'd be nice to see what, um, what they find. <sighs> Excuse me. Oof. Welcome, JS. Sorry I missed your comment. This walk is the worst. Legitimately. That bear, when I did that mission of winter mute, I died more times than I can count. I rage quit once or twice doing it. And then I finally killed him in winter mute. And it was just like a stupid mechanic that I was missing. Like I just didn't understand how to kill him with the stupid spear. I was getting so frustrated with myself. And then I stopped playing it for like a week and then I went back and was able to get it right away. It was so weird. I'm hoping something I'll add is maybe a spear of some sort so you can like poke poke the wolves when they're charging at you or you know something like that. It doesn't have to be anything, it could just be like a primitive spear even with like some sticks and cordage or something but well you can maybe like if you're good enough at it um, maybe spear some rabbits or something. Sure, you wouldn't be able to get close enough, but 
would be cool. Oh, hey, Sarah Creeper. Yeah, the bunnies are cute, but at some point I'm going to have to pelt them with a rock. So. Well, at some point I need to eat, so I might have to at some point pelt it with a rock. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that, that's, that whole spear thing was kind of half thrown together, it was a little bit complicated. And like, it it took me a while to get the timing down, because if you put the spear down too early, it would you'd run out of stamina before. When you put it down too late, it didn't matter how close the bear was, if it would have hit him at all, it didn't deter him, and you would just get mauled to death. Yeah, like, I'm not saying we have to be able to, like, make a spear, but, like, let me do, like, a primitive one out of some sticks. Maybe I have to find a branch to make it out of. You know what I mean? Just something. Something that I can stab things from a distance. A lot of flares this playthrough. They're just everywhere. What? Oh, I must have found a bearskin bedroll and left it here. What's the condition on this? But what's the what's the condition on this one? Oh, 49, that's why. That can stay here. Cool. I'll take that with us for now. Nothing, huh? I'm gonna have something in here. The water. Okay. Time is up. It's not too bad. Right? Like, I've been watching a lot of Naked and Afraid lately, and it's like some of the stuff that they make that are like um, spears. It's like, I don't need anything fancy, just let me like stick some sticks between the broken end of a stick and, you know, make it sharp. If it's sharp enough, a wolf won't want to keep charging at me. It might run away. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <sighs> uh, came down this way, I think. We have to go back this way. I hate walking around here. Um, hold. This is called. This is Willie's turn. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's rude. Um. Willie's turn. We can depot. Jumpers paddock. Trailer. Willie's turn. Okay. Looks like there should be another path up this one. Yeah? No? Oh, 
English time again. I thought I heard something weird. I was like, what does that sound? It's time again. It's using the new birds they added in. Apparently if you use fire hardened arrows, you can get them without spooking the whole herd. Make such a stupid noise. Conductors drop off. Okay. Hmm, this map sucks. That's not on this map. Okay. Well, this is not the way. I'm gonna go kick this bird up. I went to sleep here tonight. them again. Apparently they like take off and go to a different area once you scare that flock away though. I think. That's dinner for tonight then. Can't carry it with me. It takes so long. <laughs> I was wondering what that was supposed to say. Yes, so yeah, so now we have a type of bird meat that we can actually eat. So um actually, hold on. Can I make anything with this? Any recipes we can make with this term again? Oh wait, we can make broth. Hold on. Hold please. We're gonna please. <gasps> Did I leave my pot? Shoot. I think we left our pot down at the airfield. That's unfortunate. We could have made broth. Mmm. That makes me sad. Okay. Well. Crap. That sucks. Just cook it then. So 
So, if you have salt and you have a pot, a cooking pot, you can make, um, I guess let's use this one. Um, you can make broth, which you can use to make stews and stuff. Sleep on this bedroll. Uh, what are our tools? I still have the hammer too. Gosh darn it, we're gonna leave that here. I don't need it. Four pounds of weight we don't need. Well, so you can still make water in the skillet. I'm sure I have pots other places. I just don't have that one. I tend to, to store things wherever. No, that would be cool though. You cannot. So we found salt. Found the salt uh, on the countertop. Oh, right. I was looking to see how our tools are. We can sharpen that. At least a couple minutes. See, I always carry the cooking pot anyway because I'm too impatient to make water in cans. I don't have the patience to make water in cans. I'll do it if I have to, but it's not my favorite thing to do. I'm gonna take, is there another book in here? No. Yes. I'm gonna take these with us just so we have extra firewood. Take that too. They also started, I don't know if you guys noticed, your matches seem to stack now. I don't know if that's a glitch or intentional, but it's helpful. Alright, let's sleep for eight. Yeah, the target meat doesn't seem to give you a whole lot. You can make stews out of it. There's a hand pie you can make. Um, like you can make this ptarmigan pie. We're just missing flour, cooking oil, ptarmigan. And you actually get three hand, hand pies out of this. Um, but it does smell, and it gives you max carry weight for three hours. It increases it by a, bit, a little bit. Rabbit pie actually does the same thing. But there's like the rose hips pie, which um, I think it helps with your fatigue. It helps lower your fatigue, but it does give you a headache. Same thing, the venison pie gives you max carry weight. Got the peach pie, um, which does the same thing. Helps wake you up a little bit, I guess because of the sugar. Gives you a little headache. You can make pancakes out of flour. Or you can make acorn pancakes. And we have almost everything to make the acorn pancakes except the cooking oil. And you can also make bannock out of the acorns. So, And the oil actually goes a decent distance too, if that makes sense. Like the bottle of oil will last you a little while. If it's good for a couple of recipes full of stuff. And then like the any of the the recipes that have um, meat in them, they do give you a small amount of smell, even though they don't give you the smell bar. Oh, that's a blizzard. That's gross. But they do give you a small amount of uh, smell on them. It's kind of like carrying an uncured pelt. It'll be like this, isn't it? It'll be a three day storm. Still going. Okay. 
guess we're inside, I guess. You know, at some point somebody will, will make a book. I mean, I've seen like one for Skyrim, I've seen one for, um, I'm trying to think of what the other one was. This is just going to ruin the whole day for us, isn't it? It's going to stop right when the sun goes down. There it is. That tracks. bedroll is the one that was here, so I'm not taking it. I don't want to carry two. Let's see if we can get somewhere so the whole day's not ruined. Minecraft cookbook? What is it? Just pork chops? Steak? sound the crampons make on the, the tracks. It's a teeny noise. I love, I love gamers when they do stuff like that. It's always fun. You get a bunch of nerds. My friend has one. She has, I think, the Skyrim one. And it has a lot of, like, um, regional recipes. So there's a lot of, like, seafood recipes and stuff in there. Um, there was one that they did... Why is that so dark? These, these acorns rot. It's really dark. Anyway. Um, the... Um, the one that they made, so one of them was like sweet rolls, it's basically like cinnamon rolls and just like add honey or something to them. This is pretty funny. You add some like cinnamon sugar and honey or something to them. Distempered flat cars. Breaking out of here, finally. No more forsaken airfield. Okay. Oh, the glare in here is awful. This isn't as dark. Cool. Turn that thing off. It's not helping. Anyway, so. And now it's dark again. Okay, well. Let's do this. Let's 
slightly better. Such a trek to get up here. God. I guess it was worth it for that porridge recipe, so. I think that's the most annoying one to get at, and maybe the one. Ah, Bleak Inlet. I'm not looking forward to that. I think I've been to Bleak Inlet literally one time ever, and I died. So. I'm not a fan. There's a way to break these open. Let's see what's inside. Right between Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, I would be surprised as well if there wasn't some sort of cookbook. And there better be a whole chapter on potatoes. So the porridge recipe um, was in the in the big hangar um, in the kitchen room. It was on one of the shelves in kind of a sneaky spot. I, I missed it the first time we went in there. But because I was looking for it, I went back looking for it. It was kind of halfway back on one of the shelves. So, in the upstairs in the kitchen room is where I found mine. They're real small, the recipe cards, if you haven't seen them yet. Um, they're pretty easy to miss. I'm gonna sleep in this cave tonight because I'm not sure how much further we have to go. Stop hitting the wrong buttons. Eat my fat fingers. Is this like a cave to go through? Late layer shortcut. Well, we're just going to sleep here. I'm not doing any shortcuts. I don't remember this, so I'm going to be smart. We've been here before. This must be the cut through um, for. That big um, system to get down here, those big buildings. I think we're probably coming up on that. Should be enough calories so we can sleep. Yeah, the rocks I don't pick up too many. I struggle with coal because I can actually use the coal for a lot, but the coal gets really heavy really quickly. Especially going to coastal. Um, there'll be times where I pick up, you know, 30 pounds of coal and not think about it.
sleep for like two hours maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I think at most I carried like three or four rocks. I try not to carry more than two because they get heavy. the wrong button. Shit. Okay, can I have it back? Yeah, the rocks, I didn't honestly pick too many of them up when I first started, but I do pick a lot more up. For a little while I was picking them up a lot because I realized how handy they were to have extras of, but they just get heavy so quickly. And unless I'm actively going to go pop a bunny with one, it didn't really seem worth it. This is, I'd keep one in my pocket to make sure that if I needed to pull out a torch and scare off a wolf, I could, but... Usually where you find rabbits, there's some stones nearby, so I'd just pick up a couple of them. I hope I'm going through this cave the right way. Guess we're going to find out shortly. I'm not. I love this dead guy down here. It's a stick. It's a stick. I didn't loot this dead guy down here. You can still eat that. Take that. Do you have anything? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the nice thing about coal is if even if you just shift it over like two inches, it'll still respawn. So if you don't want to take it with you, as long as you pull it off the spawn point, it should spawn more. I have a hard time turning down firewood, too, with the, the logs. Just because I'm too lazy to cut firewood. Like, I'll do it. I actually don't mind it, but I hate what it does, how quickly it bangs up your hatchet. Like, I feel like a normal hatchet would last longer than the way they do here. I know that's for game balance, but should still be a little bit less for as little as firewood does, time-wise. If you got a hatchet, you wouldn't break it in a, in a weekend if you were breaking down some wood. It would last you for hopefully at least a few years. Did I just go in one big circle? I might have. Nope, but this isn't right either. I gotta go up. I think. Oh, there's a rope I have to climb or something. I remember this. I don't remember how to get up to get out, though. Yeah, there's a rope. Okay. We're gonna skidoo all the way up this rope and hope it doesn't turn into a blizzard. Well, yeah, especially because there's those long saws, like the, the two-man saws that you could use to cut down trees, but I could also see how deforestation might not be the best idea, since survival and all that. Nothing in here for food. Oh, there's a bandage and a good drink. I'll take those.
Zomboid's fun, but I get stuck in Zomboid because it's almost too technical. Um, I get really clunky with the controls because I don't play it enough. And it's a game that I don't really have a ton of fun playing by myself, but it's fun to play with people. the same way I just came. Ugh. I hate this area. Trying to leave, not come back. Is there anything in here? Anything edible? No. Okay then, that was a waste. Guys, did I go the wrong way? Where did I go wrong here? I forget how to get out of here. Keep going this way, I guess. Aha. Maybe. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yes, I figured it out. Okay, cool. early mornings. So we have plenty of time. We're really tired, though. actually scared me. <laughs> Seeing somebody startled me, even though humans don't exist in this game except for dead. But, whatever. Is that a thing? No, it's a rock. Yeah, that's true. The traitor will be another human. Well, that was like, what's his face? Ma Mahula Sua, whatever the hell's name was from Wintermute. Methuselah. That guy, the first time I ran into him, startled me too. But I guess in Wintermute, you do run into more people, but still a little startling. I'm gonna pick these rose hips. Um, at least some of them. So we can make the rose hip pies if we find any. I remember this bridge. I hate this bridge. We need to eat. We're gonna lose our welfare bonus. Where's that dog for you? No! Not that. You don't wanna eat the peaches, because you wanna cook with the peaches. We can eat the dog food though. Drink the grape soda. Crackers. I'm gonna need to make more water soon. Probably shouldn't have eaten the crackers. That should be good for now. I'd imagine I have some food left over at Broken Railroad. We make it shed. Usually hoard stuff there. Uh, 
Oh, I hate this bridge. I fall to my death, I'm gonna be very upset. Those aren't very good. they're very high goals, but we made it out of there. Nobody died. I'm calling that a win. We have lots of wolves in this area, so we have to pop one or two though. Uh, before we leave this area, there is a recipe up in the hunter's cabin we're going to grab. There's a wolf. There's two wolves right there. Stay away from them. Probably get another three in here, because why not? here soon. We're tired. Wow, no wolves, huh? See? Looking butt. Awesome. Give me wolf meat. Cool. What do we have in here? Oh, wow. Okay. I probably left these here because I didn't think I would ever go to Blackrock, but we have to go to Blackrock now. Got some stuff. We have two pairs of red. Okay. Oh, we really left some stuff here, huh? Sleep for an hour because it's early in the morning still. Should be good for now. Hunting rifle, another revolver. That's like the fourth revolver we found that I've seen just today. What do we have in here? Anything new? looking for is new food and stuff. See if there's any oil, flour, anything like that. Don't really expect to find a whole lot in here since it's, you know, kind of a maintenance yard and not really a kitchen, but maybe. Coal, scrap. thing is, I don't remember if we went to the hunting cabin. I think we did because we have that hunting rifle here. Um, but we can scoot up there. It's not far from here. Snooze for a couple more hours or more a week. And we'll go. So many maple saplings just lying about. How am I 
my pants. 99% mittens are good. Actually, mittens could use a little love. Do we have a rabbit belt in here? Nope, that's the one belt I don't have. Okay. Alright. Maybe we'll grab one on the way back. the reason I like leaving water places. Okay, we might stay here for tonight. It's a little foggy out. Unless that wants to clear up. get bit now because I just dropped all those bandages. What happens? Much better. Well, I can run from the wolf that I know is going to try to bite my butt. It's going to get loud, friends. one there waiting. We didn't have a rope with us last time apparently. Otherwise we could have just climbed that rope right there. The hunting cabin's just right, right up there. It's fine, just means we have to go the long way. There's no moose here. I don't see it. Okay. I don't see any tree rubbings like there would be a moose, but that would be my luck. The only other thing to watch out for is the bear likes to be down there. Caves over that way. Hope this this was not the smart way to go. Oop. Yeah, he must have been there last time because I see some cattails still there. Something dead. It's so funny that, that that gate is there because you have wolves there, but there's also like a pack of wolves that spawn up here around the cabin. So you're not keeping any wolves out, really. But I guess they think it makes us feel better. I don't know. It's not like the Hydro Dam where that fence actually does keep you from a wolf. This one does not. Once we find the recipe in this cabin, we're probably going to call it, um, a day. And we didn't do as much as I would have liked, but it's enough for today. 
I might try to get something out tomorrow too. No promises, but we'll see. See how it goes. but it sounded far away so I wonder if it killed something. Yep. I might steal his rabbit. Let's see where he is. It's probably down there. God, there's just it's a massacre out here. dinner. There's another rabbit I can go get too. Probably. There's another wolf up. Let's reload the first time. See the other one. I'm just gonna cut our losses though. Well, oh, you're tired again, so. I can make stew now for broth. If I can find them. There they are. watch because I really want this now. They make such silly noises. Ugh, and they're gone. Okay, we got one. And a rabbit. Take it. see what we can find in here and then we will we'll play with the cooking next episode so we have time I want to give it the time it deserves because I think our dinner is actually here so we found a skillet some oil uh, salt flour okay yes yeah, so we found all the stuff we need so far to make a good recipe um, let me see if I can find that That rifle cartridge last time. in the basement.
It's weird that it wouldn't be up here, since it has the stove here. Huh. Okay, well we'll check down the basement, and otherwise I will peek off camera until I find it, and I'll wait to get up until I can show you guys. Let's see, maybe it's stashed down here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So here it is, Firehouse Pie. It was down the basement on top of this thing here. So, it's a recipe any meat eater would love. And we need ptarmigan, rabbit, venison, cooking oil, and flour to make. Looks like it gives us max condition up. It does decrease our max stamina, but it does decrease our fatigue and our cabin fever. It's awesome. So, also these things here, they seem to have a lot of veggies in them. So we found some potatoes, found some carrots. I apologize, just talking to wife. Um, let's see. That looks to be it. Um, I was hoping to find some pre made broth, but we'll just have to make some out of our ptarmigan that we found. But, that looks like it's it for here. Alright guys, well, uh, it was uh, nice hanging out with you guys this afternoon, and we'll see you in the next one. Later Gators!